Hey guys, here's another update on the magnetic paddle shifters. The OSW kit came in, so now I can actually test them on a working system and actually try them in a race and uh, uh, practice. The uh, kit is from the Sim Racing Bay. Highly recommended. If you're looking into OSW, make sure you check out these guys. Payment was easy, nice website, shipping, everything really fast. The kit itself also really good. I went with the Cooler Master case because I'm I'm not into acrylics much. I don't think it's a material that's good for to, to last a long time. So I went with a PC style case combined with this. This is a small Mij motor or whatever it's it's called. It's the small unit. It's plenty strong. The force feedback I'm getting from this compared to the G27 is unbelievable. I've never been able to push a car as hard and as consistent and also catch slides when I overdrive it like with this the, the, the feeling this is real feedback it's amazing mind blown completely but this is about the paddle shifters now I can finally test them on the, on the live unit since the G27 is now collecting dust <laughs> has been working really nice for two years so if you're looking if you're starting in sim racing you're, you're don't want to spend too much money yet because you don't know if you're gonna stick with it go with the G uh, go with the Logitech they're they're cheap they're very reliable I've heard um, not the best things about uh, the Thrustmaster reliability so Logitech I mean look at their other stuff it just works really good so anyway this is about the shifters I've printed a little adapter uh, this one is a two centimeter spacer so it just gives me a little space between the wheel and the shifters I've been testing this for a few practice session, sessions and also ran a few races and what I've noticed is it's a bit too long or it comes too far out. So what I've done, I've uh, printed or designed a, a shifter that or a paddle that is a little bit shorter. I'm going to mount this to the left side. This is what I'm using to shift up, uh, to shift the gear up. So I still have uh, my right hand available to modify the button box while I'm on the straight. So this one goes on the left. And I also made a really small one. This one I'm going to put down on the right side to shift down um, just to compare and see what is going to be best for me. All of the plans, this is the original one, this one's a really large one. They're still going to be available, they're on the GitHub page. I'm all going to leave them there because this is preference. I just think for me they're too large. But they're working really well. So let me just get this mounted and then put the wheel on top and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. The new paddles are in place. Uh, don't be put off by the different length of screws. I just don't have enough of the short type. The bill of material for the project uh, does list the correct length, so you don't have an issue like that. And if you do need to purchase screws, you just get the right type and then it's going to look good. Uh, most of this setup is currently still for testing. Same with this wood plate. This is not going to stay that way. I, this is just something I had and I'm still figuring out what needs to be done or what needs to change. Uh, overall, this is solid now, um, but the plate, there is a vinyl covering from 3M with like a carbon look, and I've already ordered a piece for the button box that I want to attach to the wheel, and I'll probably uh, cover this mounting plate into, in, with that carbon fiber look as well. Just gives it more like a race car look. Okay, well, this is in place. And this is how the mount looks. This is just the base. If you if you want to print this yourself and you don't want to build a button box around it, then this this is pretty much the simplest setup. You just have a little holder plate for the magnetic paddle switch uh, shifters, and you need some sort of spacer. And all those plans are available on the project page. And this is a two centimeter spacer, just so you have enough room between your fingers and the uh, paddle shifters. So now I'm going to mount the wheel. And this is going to take a little bit because you have to uh, tighten up all those bolts. So I'm going to make a quick cut and then I'll uh, fire up the game. Probably Spa as well because we have the 24 hour of Spa race going on right now. So let's stay on the same track and I'll see you in a minute. The wheel is mounted. This is with the new pedals. It's all still uh, yeah, just a test setup since I haven't had time to order the correct wire yet. I'm I'm probably going to use something like a telephone cord, something with um, that has a little bit of give to it. The main setup will still connect it to my main button box, but now that this is working, I will focus on the wheel button box next. 
which will use an Arduino Nano. So if you have a 3D printer and you're looking into a wheel button box, it is going to be a pretty inexpensive solution uh, to get something like that working. So this is iRacing running in the background, uh, Spa, the, I'm going to be in a Ferrari. Just pay attention to how quiet everything is. Uh, if you've seen a G27 or any other kind of wheel before, this is amazing. Also the shifters, I'm going to, uh, last video there was an issue, the sound, sound was too loud, you could hardly hear anything. This time I'm going to record the sound of the computer separately and then mix them together later. You'll just hear the, the shifter operation. Um, currently when you let go, sometimes they have like a little bit of, there's some vibration going on. I'm thinking about just adding a little bit of silicone uh, to the bottom of the uh, magnetic plate just to stop dampening once I release it after shift. But uh, let me just get this started and you can hear for yourself. Now the new shorter shifter, I can already feel it, it's working much better. With the old one, I had to get my finger around it. With this uh, shorter style, I just need to reach out and use it. I actually think that I like the really short one. It's more for me. And I'm only shifting with my fingertips anyway. It also makes there's less leverage on the magnet, so um, it makes it a bit stronger. It feels really good. Now this setup is my race setup. I'm probably not going to be as quick in this one, and also the tires are going to need a little bit to get up to temperature. But this is just about showing the paddle shifters in action. They're holding up to the uh, strength of the, of the wheel or when they start turning so there are no issues. And really nice, reliable feeling. As you can just use them and you know they're going to work. Which is pretty much what I've been used to for my G27. Shifting everything has always worked. So I'm just trying to replicate this here. I'm not trying to get him, I don't want to get him on the straight. So I shift it up a little earlier because it's G23 and he doesn't have as much speed through. There we go. Now this corner right here always used to be a problem with the G27, but with the OSW, uh, I always known that I need to stay more on the inside or hit the curb a little bit. Never been able to do it consistently. Um, with this one, it's everything is more yeah, repeatable. It's more of a driving with the car because uh, I'm actually getting proper feedback. It's really nice. And that combined with these shifters, it's 
A really fun little package. The current I need to be careful with the wires so they don't get caught in the bolt. But I've, uh, yeah, I haven't had a problem training on the races yet, but you never know. I'm planning on getting uh, Molex connectors. And then that combined with a flexible cord should be a good solution here. No problem. Yeah, the not shifting. It's just that the uh, car is computer controlled, and I'm trying to downshift too quickly. That's just trying to go down as fast as possible. But I would override the engine doing that. But since I know I have the protection, I just keep banging it when I can see my gears up here. I can't speed over the steering wheel anymore because it's too low. But this view is proper, and it looks better. Instead of having the dashboard like all the way up here, a uh, little downside. Oh, these turns are so much fun with this new wheel.
Yeah, but as you can probably see, these 3D printed chapters are working quite well. So if you have a 3D printer and you're thinking about getting an OSW, this might be a really nice setup for you. At least give it a try. Doesn't cost much. Looks really good. Now the OSW itself, that is most certainly worth it. So not it's like a first wheel, but instead of getting a Fanatec base and wheel, might as well whoa, spend a little bit more. Got something amazing. Are faster and you're going straight. Yeah. Well, I'm actually going to finish this lap real quick. I think that's enough for showing off the shifters. As you can see, not a single issue. Even with just lots of shaking here, that just works. Um, this will definitely stay on this wheel. I'll play around with some different paddle designs. But other than that, uh, I'm also I'm currently trying out a different body, uh, the shifter body, just uh, not sure, just for fun. Uh, this one is working really good, but if you don't like this design, it's going to be more like a box shape. Uh, but this is most certainly working really well. It's that don't talk to me in corners type thing, huh? In this case, don't speak in corners. Now we have lap five, yeah. It's a race setup, so tires are finally warm. Whoops. So I'm probably getting some time here. Yeah, finally have some grip. But that's all there for that. So as you can see, the shifters are working quite nice. They're, they're reliable, they're easy to build. All you need is a 3D printer and a little bit of time. So yeah, plans are in uh, at the project's uh, website, GitHub. Your URL is going to be in the video description below. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Or just uh, give it a try, print it out. Have a good one. See you on try.